I think we're recording. Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for August 4th. August 4th is the 216th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 217th in leap years with 149 days remaining to the end of the year. We need to be quick about this today because the plumbers are on their way and the tree people will be here shortly after, I believe. It's going to get pretty loud around here today, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> today's word, I got today's word from a word a day at wordsmith.org. And it's claimant, C-L-A-M-A-N-T. Claimant is an adjective that means loud, demanding attention, or urgent. This word comes to us from a Latin word that means to cry out. Earliest documented use of the word claimant is 1639. I've got my script up on my smartphone here. That's, that's why I'm looking down. Anyway, with that, August 3rd, 1327, during the First War of Scottish Independence, James Douglas led a raid into Weardale and almost killed Edward III of England. So I thought, what does that mean, almost killed? <laughs> um, I looked for more information, and what I found was that Edward III became, had become King of England in January of that year. And it turns out he was only 14 years old. His father was still living, too. His mother, Isabella of France, had had his father, Edward II, deposed and installed Edward III as king. Edward III would live another 50 years, dying at the age of 64. Okay. Someone's trying to send me a message, and I'm busy. <laughs> Okay, August 4th, 1693 is a date traditionally ascribed to Dom Perignon's invention of champagne. Now, truthfully, it's not really all that clear as to whether he himself invented champagne, but he did innovate and develop techniques used to perfect sparkling wine. Mount Asama erupted in Japan on August 4th, 1783, killing about 1,400 people, and the effects of the eruption resulted in a famine, which caused another 20,000 deaths. The Saturday Evening Post was published for the first time on August 4th, 1821, as a weekly newspaper. will be using the editor a little bit there, I think. Oh, yikes. This is the day that the father and stepmother of Lizzie Borden were found murdered in their Fall River, Massachusetts home, August 4th, 1892. Lizzie was tried and acquitted for this crime a year later. Now, if you're interested in the life of Anne Frank, this is the girl who kept the diary that was later published, The Diary of a Young Girl. It was on this day, August 4th, 1944, that a tip from a Dutch informer led the Gestapo to a sealed-off area in an Amsterdam warehouse where they found and arrested Anne, her entire family, and a few other folks. On August 8, 1946, an eight-point magnitude earthquake hit the Northern Dominican Republic, killing 100 and leaving 20,000 people homeless. 1964 civil rights workers Michael Schwerner, Andrew Goodman, and James Cheney went missing on June 21st but they were found dead in Mississippi on August 4th, 1964. And I found this interesting. On August 4th, 1987, the Federal Communications Commission rescinded the Fairness Doctrine, which had previously required radio and television stations to present controversial issues fairly. And it shows. 
And that's all I have for you today. I don't remember if I mentioned in this take <laughs> that I've, I've tried to record this so many times today. Um, I was unable to do the live because you have to do a live uh, with a, a desktop or a laptop computer. I'm not, I don't have the hot sauce to do mobile lives yet. One of these days, that'll be awesome, but uh, I think it has to do with the number of subscribers and uh, viewing time. So I'm not quite there yet, but um, so I am recording it and uh, I'm not, I'm not going to put even subtitles on this one just now. I'm going to get it right up there. And um, today's day in history. I know we had some birthdays. We didn't get to cover them this time. So anyway, I hope, I hope this was worth tuning in for. <laughs> oh, let's see what else. We don't have pictures or music today, so I don't need to mention that. Alrighty, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be a little bit closer to normal. Although, I know for sure the plumbing job is going to take more than a day. And the tree job might also. Yikes. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow.